the past always has an impact on the future. Those who do not know their past are kind of destined to repeat it. We have that program every year, and we put little boxes. Well, I've been coming here all my life. I remember when I was like about 12 years old, but I didn't fully understand or appreciate the family's long-standing connection. Well, we're going to go up to the exhibit, Lives Bound Together, Slavery, George Washington's Mount Vernon. I am a licensed tour guide in the District of Columbia, and I come and I bring groups all over the metropolitan Washington, D.C., including to George Washington's Mount Vernon, which the Quanda family has a long-standing historical connection with. Nancy Carter uh, was a young girl, really, who was 11 years old in 1799 when George Washington made provisions in his will to free his slaves. Her mother, Suki Bay was her name, was an enslaved woman who lived on one of Washington's five farms and was a field hand. So when Washington freed his slaves, then Nancy Carter was freed. She later married uh, Charles Quander, uh, who was a member of the Quander family. And so there are many descendants uh, that come down from that and are part of the, the large Quander family, which, as you know, is one of the oldest, if not the oldest, documented African-American family in the country. The family history goes back into Maryland in the 1600s. We hear about the Hamiltons and the, and the Madisons and the Jeffersons. Well, do we hear about the enslaved people who made sure the crops were in, who made sure the fishing was proper, who made sure the distillery was run? They were the ones who were the backbone so that George Washington could do all, go off and become the father of our nation. You really can't understand George Washington life without understanding the lives of the people whose lives were intertwined with his, whose work supported his estate. I tried to instill into everyone the importance of understanding where we as Americans came from. I often say this is not a black history tour, this is an American history tour. I think for me, it's really, it gives me a sense of history to share with my kids, and it's also really neat to be able to participate in this tour with Mr. Quander as he has relatives and his ancestry line is here at, at Mount Vernon. It's also, I think, important to honor the lives and the contributions of the people who were enslaved here and elsewhere, whose stories have not been told, have perhaps not been been remembered have not been appreciated. We are a bridge from the past to the present and we have a responsibility of upholding the Quander name and lifting others as we climb. And it's important for people to understand that we have earned our rights. We built literally physically built Mount Vernon built the United States Capitol, built the White House, along with other people, of course. But we need people to, in the African-American diaspora to understand that we have always been a part of what constitutes America.